Emashir, I would like to ask you about this fifth generation fighter jet program today. Where do we stand and uh, why is India cautious about buying, um, say, the F-35s or uh, the Su-57s? So, no, to start with, uh, we have been tinkering with fifth generation program for a very long time. I think since about 2014, uh, uh, Air Force has been making the PSQRs and requirements uh, in consultation with DRDO. And last last year, government had sanctioned the development of uh, advanced medium combat aircraft, uh, which is uh, fifth generation aircraft with sixth generation technologies. Uh, on request of DRDO, actually, they said they cannot directly reach. So in between, LCA Mark II project was also sanctioned along with it so that the technologies could be uh, matured on uh, uh, LCA Mark II platform. Uh, like Defence Secretary Sir said, engine is the important thing and that government is going to take a decision. Now, your question relates to uh, the gap which is there from now to delivery of uh, fifth generation capability. There is, there is some gap there, eight or nine or ten years gap will be there. So to fill that gap, uh, yes, we are thinking only uh, right now how that gap can be filled. So uh, that there are various options. So what are the top? Uh, sorry. Uh -huh. So what are the top two or three priorities that you have? Oh, Miss, I cannot list the platform uh, that we are uh, still working out, but yes, certainly fifth generation capability. Uh, long-range air-to-air missile, uh, these kind of, we have, we have a list, we have a uh, list which when my turn comes to say that, I will say that, but as far as uh, fifth generation is coming, we are considering, uh, that is for sure, but what we are not ready to open out as yet.